Right now, as we get ready for our next bout, a super middleweight bout between Carlos the Hitman to Jesus out of Taunton at nine and four versus Greg Cadiz out of Hartford at 10 and 10. De Jesus wearing the blue robe, Cadiz in the white trunks trimmed in black and fighting out of the blue corner. A night of fights, the referee is Paul Casey, the judges Joe LaPlante and Anthony Salerno, Nick Previty on hand, he's a judge as well, the timekeeper Tom Gorman, and Mr. Jim Morris in the ring. Doctor, here's the round card girl. Enjoy. So, Polly, just based on looking at the fighters, I take, based on the look, is Cadiz. Cadiz comes in at 169 pounds to Jesus 166. So there's only a three pound differential between Cadiz and the white trunks and to Jesus in the white and blue trunks. Yes, there is. And, uh... And these both boys are two good fighters, and uh, I think we've seen these kids fight before, and uh, we're going to see a good fight tonight. They didn't go anyway. Got his name across the front of his trunks. Paul Casey, the referee. This fight is scheduled for six rounds. I think we're gonna see a good, good bout here. Uh, I pick it in the third round. I think we're gonna see a good fight here. I, 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 I think I predict a four-round knockout here. Round one. Cadiz in the white trunks trimmed in black. De Jesus in the white trunks trimmed in blue. Both fighters. Just trying to see and make the other fighter react. Yep, they're, they're watching themselves very closely. They're in close, too. Not doing too much right now. Uh, somebody's got to start throwing some punches and get this thing going off, get off the ground. De Jesus, looking to be more the more compact of a fighter at nine and four. They both look like they can throw some heavyweight. Uh, with a good left hook throw thrown there by Kyle Tadisi uh, to the body, but they got to start mixing it up very shortly. Are they going to hear from the crowd? Now, a fighter at 10 and 10 who has 10 wins and 10 losses, how does somebody like that continually get fights? Well, uh, they're probably all good, tough fights, and uh, so it makes them a good, tough opponent. You know, some guys uh, don't get the luck of getting uh, somebody that uh, doesn't have the ability that he has and gets all the tough fights, and uh, so he always has uh, ten tough fights and 10 losses, but uh, he's a tough fighter, and he's a good opponent for someone else. You know? Good straight overhand right by De Jesus. He seems to be a straight-on power puncher. Yep, uh, he's just straight up, uh, boxes straight up. He's waiting uh, to, to get a chance to start throwing some leather. He's got the reach. Yep, and uh, he, I think he's just going to mix it up a little more. They're going to start getting some combinations again instead of one punch at a time. You know. Yeah, Cadiz. He looks like a. A bullfighter, the way his feet are almost forward. Like De Jesus, rather, taunting Cadiz like he's holding a red cape. Now, a right hand misses wildly by Cadiz. Is De Jesus with his back to you? Yep, uh, these, uh, this fight's got to get some action going in it. It's uh, too much waiting and it almost sometimes looking like they don't want to hurt each other. Full house here tonight, though, Polly. Packed. Yeah, they had a good crowd, and this is what boxing needs, uh, crowds like this, and it was very exciting, and, uh, and uh, they should run more fights here. I think it's probably a good place to run fights, and uh, you got the track here, you got the, 
the horse racing, the driving, you got good uh, traffic, and highways to get here and get home, and uh, it's a good spot for boxing. Round one here of a scheduled six pound super middleweight bout. That is the end of round one in this super middleweight bout between uh, Carlos De Jesus and Greg Cadiz. Who's you liking that round there, Paul? Well, uh, you know, it was a, it was a pretty even round to me. I, I don't know. I didn't see too much action thrown there. Uh, I'll have to give it to Cadiz. Uh, he did land a couple of good left hooks in the body. But there wasn't much thrown in that round. That was a very dead round of boxing. As we get ready for round two. <laughs> so that goes to the first round, goes to Carlos De Jesus out of Taunton in the red corner. We have two more bouts on our docket here. Yep, uh, two more good fights. Uh, good. We we'll end the night, and I uh, hope they get a lot more exciting than what we're seeing right now, and get the crowd there hollering and moving again. Round two to Jesus and the white trunks trimmed in blue with the name Carlos De Jesus across the front of them. Greg Cadiz from Hartford and the white trunks trimmed in black. He's on the right of your screen. That was a very odd move by, by Cadiz. He sort of held his way in and did nothing. Doesn't make it any sense to that at all. De Jesus probably has the body of a tank, huh? He's, he's solid in the midsection. He, he definitely is, but the only thing is that kind of strange the way they box up there, pushing each other away, uh, and when they should be throwing some vicious punches. Sometimes I'm thinking that they don't want to hurt each other up there. You know, the one on the elbow, the, the step of, uh, this, 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 this doesn't look right to me right now. Does not look right. De Jesus now a combination. One of them got through to the face of Cadiz. Yep, there's some the punches landing, landing, but nothing saw. That was a solid right hand, overhand right. They get things more moving up here. Somebody's got to get a, some good bangs in there to get this fight going. We need some fire under their fannies here. Round two, first round went to De Jesus. Cadiz is letting them measure him, Polly. Yeah, but Cadiz is uh, measuring, but uh, this is the second round, and uh, he's doing a lot of measuring. He's got to do some cutting, too, you know? <laughs> well put. The crowd yelling ahead of him. Crowd getting upset and a little restless. Yep, yeah, I, I, I told you momentarily that the crowd's going to let you know this fight is not going the way it should. That is a pillow fight. Yep, and uh, it's uh, Cadiz has uh, got a lot of opportunities to land in some serious punches. He's not doing it. You tell these two guys are seasoned, though, the way they move. Yeah, it's almost as if it's a choreographed dance or something, Polly. Yep, uh, they're not really, uh, there's not a, uh, you know, it's almost as though there's not a real fight up there. It's like a little bit of an exhibition. I don't mean to knock these two fighters. I just, it's just the way they're uh, starting off. And uh, now there's a good overhand right. Uh, Could have done some damage. That should get the other guy moving. Once they get hit hard, it should be moving. But, oh, that left hook landed would have, would have caused some action here. Yeah, that's, that looks to be... Uh... Cadiz's marquee punch is the left hook. He's thrown that wildly three times now. Well, maybe he's a, they're a little cold-blooded, but I guess they're starting to heat up now. And After that left hook we saw. End of round two. In this scheduled six-round super middleweight bout. De Jesus won round one. And Charlie Dwyer to our right here. As the round card girl tells us that it's round like that three. Peter likes to look at those uh, rounds. I know that and see what round it is. Yeah, I speak know, it. I know his mind is pure. <laughs> well, why is Peter on us, Polly, when he can be looking at the round girl? 